All right, uh, let's look at the homework 1.2, uh, problem number four. And uh, we have this uh, given rational function, and we want to find uh, x-intercepts and also y-intercepts. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so uh, in order to find uh, x-intercept, so x-intercept, all you need to do is uh, set the other guy, which is y, equal to 0. All right. So we have this uh, equation, so put 0 for y, so you have a 0 is equal to uh, x squared minus 9 over x plus 3, right? Then, you know, to make this uh, a whole fraction equal to 0, we just need to make sure that the numerator is 0. Or another way to think of it is to multiply both sides by the denominator, x minus 3, then you get, uh, we have to make sure that uh, 0 times anything is 0. And then we have to make sure that the numerator, uh, x squared minus 9, has to be 0. But luckily, uh, we can uh, factor out x squared minus 9 because 9 is 3 squared. So we can write it as uh, x uh, plus 3 times uh, x minus 3, right? Uh, which means that uh, x is equal to, right? So if you set this guy, uh, set the, this factor equal to 0, uh, we would get negative uh, 3, right? So you have a negative 3. And if you set uh, this one equal to 0, uh, x is going to be positive 3. So answer is plus or minus 3, right? So uh, let's uh, type it in. Uh, let's see, where did it go? Uh, here. All right, so x-intercept uh, x is going to be, uh, so we have to give it a point. So the uh, x is going to be uh, plus or minus 3. Oh, actually, I have to be a little bit careful here. All right, so uh, I thought that the x equals positive 3 would be a solution, but it's not because here, if you put the x equals 3, uh, it'll make the denominator 0. So it's actually only negative 3 is the correct one, right? So x is going to be negative 3. So let's uh, put it in, all right? So negative 3. And then uh, since it's an x-intercept, the y-coordinate is always 0, right? So let's check the answer. All right, uh, I came back and looks like uh, we found uh, x intercept. So let's find the y intercept. All right, so we have to kind of do the opposite. So if you want to find the y intercept, all you have to do is uh, set the other guy equal to zero. So you have a set the x equal zero. All right, so we have, so left hand side is y. And then we plug in 0 for uh, x. So you have a 0 squared minus 9. You don't really have to write it that way. But uh, 0 minus 3. So you can see that the zeros don't do anything. So it's a negative 9 divided by negative 3 is positive 3. So y intercept is positive 3. So uh, let's type it in. So we have, uh, since it's a y-intercept, x is always 0. So x-coordinate is 0. And then we have a positive 3. So we put 3. All right, let's check the answer. All right, uh, I came back and looks like we got the uh, y-intercept correctly as well. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.